Hi, my name is Hallie Prager and I'm a visual artist and filmmaker. This is how I begin my art practice. I come into the studio every day and I spend a solid 15 minutes just admiring the art. I'm a studio art major, so because of the nature of that, like, I have had to like learn a lot of different mediums, or not had to, but I've enjoyed learning a lot of different mediums, so for making, painting, drawing, a lot of that, but like what I consider myself, or like consider myself to be predominantly as a video and artist and filmmaker, because I think that is a medium that I find most engaging, most accessible, most exciting, and I think I can do a lot within it. Um, in addition to that, like I do like comic work, which I really enjoy. Um, I'm always looking for ways to like, like infuse like humor into like, fine art. And I think like both video and comedy have offered me opportunities to do that. I think like I just have always been compelled to make things, to make art. And right now, I've kind of I'm finally feeling like I've found the forms that suit me best and and best suit like what I'm trying to say and do. about how that would be gross. <laughs> like, I guess it is gross though. Yeah. Comedy for me is just so important as this like subversive tool or whatever because you get to um, really work through like experiences or difficult to understand concepts in a way that then become like um, one palatable but also like you get to point things out as ridiculous. Like you get to point out the absurdity in like the horrible parts of our world, you know? I, oh, oh, well, uh. Uh, 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 uh. I will be now reading a selection of my tweets. I wish the young Pope was even younger. Like, what if he was a baby? Imagine a baby in the big Pope hat. Um, this one reads, stayed up late texting my boyfriend about the phallus. Today, I made a LinkedIn and did all of the updates on my phone and computer, and now I want someone to rock me like a baby. This is a simple one. It simply reads, Chunk Grassley, in reference to Chuck Grassley, of course. Uh, this, this one's a true story. I changed up my workout today by free bleeding onto the mat and saw immediate results of increased strength. Another simple one. Um, the Panopticon is my kink. The other day in one of my art classes, someone brought up that they're talking to a bio professor, and the, the person said, that your eyes aren't made for seeing art. Like biologically speaking, your eyes are made to see like threats or danger or things like that. And I, it just confused me so much because I'm like, that's exactly why I make art is to like reveal like threats and danger and things like that. Because I think maybe like thousands of years ago or whatever, like yeah, you only worried about like seeing a lion and identifying it and be like, that's a lion, I should run, you know, like, whatever. But now it's like, the things that, that threaten people's existence are way more complicated than a lion, you know? It's, and, and there's so many, like, uh, larger, like, oppressing forces that aren't easily identifiable. And I think for me, art is a language to, with which to identify them and to make, to make those things that are harder to see a little more seen, a little more visible. And so for me, like art is often about survival um, and about representing the things that are are often like hard to see or represent. Thanks for stopping.